The first day of my Camino was physically challenging. My jet lagged body was crying for a good rest at the end of the day. I was awakened around 6 a.m. by the chanting sounds blasted through the speakers. By the time I got out of the door, I was one of the last ones to leave the albergue. Day two, I'm getting ready to leave Ross's Vias to go to Zabiri. Shortly after leaving Ross's Vias, I passed the well photographed road sign showing the remaining distances to Santiago de Compostela. Today, I will cover 24 of those 760 kilometers. Along the way, I passed a half dozen small farming towns. Most towns seem to be empty. The townsfolk seem to be taking their siesta while their animals frolicked about. For much of the day, I was walking with Simon, a charming guy from Denmark whom I'd met as I crossed the Pyrenees. He carried a wine glass on the outside of his backpack, quite a conversation starter was one of the only two people who passed me along the way. We ran into Jay, who had terrible blisters from his newly purchased shoes. When the romantic bridge over the Arga River came into sight, we know we've reached the Beery and close to a well-earned break for our feet. I booked a private room at El Burgues to say yeah. The luxury of having a bed sheet, a towel, and a bathtub to soak my tired feet was so welcoming that I decided to stay only in private rooms. Simon kept on walking, and I have not seen him since. But I met up with a few other fellow pilgrims, and we had dinner together before settling in for the night. <laughs>